Well, I'm Sheriff Tommy Bryant, and I've been uh, delivering Meals on Wheels, I don't know, several years. I don't know exactly how long. It, uh, uh, the reason that I do it is because it needs to be done. In our own lives, we don't know when we might be on the receiving end of someone bringing us Meals on Wheels. There have been several instances over the years that people's lives have been saved because there was someone that came to see them that day and they were in extreme need and needed help. So it's very satisfying that we've been able to provide meals but also a social activity for our elderly people in Erath County. Well you never think about being 84 or something like that. You never think about being Oh, when I was younger, I thought that I, I didn't think I'd ever need Meals on Wheels. But we think we have our lives planned out, and we'll always be young enough to do the same things. But there comes a time when you come old, uh, become old or can't cook, can't take care of yourself, and you need these meals. Now, I've always been able to work, you know, when I was younger. I was always able to work and, and make my own way and, you know, I didn't, didn't need anybody to help me. But now, you know, as you get older, I, I tell you I'm kind of emotional about things, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to be, but... I have never thought that I would ever need meals on wheels because I've left next all my life and I never even spent overnight in the hospital and now look at me. Yeah, we're, we're not invincible, and, and uh, someday we may find ourselves in need of, of that service, and I, I sure hope that if I'm in that category that there's someone there who is volunteering to bring a meal to me. I became uh, ill and couldn't cook anymore at all, and so I called me on meals one day and before lunch, and they delivered lunch that day. And I thought it was grand. <laughs> yes, had a car accident, oh, several years ago. I don't even remember what year it was now. So I've been out of circulation real good since then. And I fall a lot, so I don't have to worry about getting me something to eat. And. Uh, that's just one way it's helped me, and they have nourishing meals that helps me that way. Since I'm a diabetic, I all the time can't go to the store and get what I really need. And I believe they send it to me. Oh, why? Well, I didn't have enough energy to cook my own meals. I had open heart surgery and I was very tired most of the time and I couldn't stand long enough and you know use my arms like a like a person should I would get very very tired but it takes energy to make your heart go and if you can't have no energy you can't walk around move around and the people there are very, very nice to me. The ones that deliver the meals are so nice to me. If Meals on Wheels was not in Erath County, our patients, uh, most of them, would probably have to go to the nursing home or to um, some sort of assisted living facility, and most of them cannot afford either of those places. So it would be very detrimental to our patients. I'd probably have to go to a nursing home if I didn't have meals on wheels. There's so many people are like me, they'd eat, but they might not eat regular right. But I know they're, I know they're good, balanced meals. So they're healthy, in other words. <laughs> Without meals on wheels, I don't know what I'd do sometimes. I'd probably eat crackers or just eat what I could find. If I didn't have meal on wheels, I would probably just be eating peanut butter and crackers, cheese and crackers. 
I was thinking like that. But maybe cereal, you know, in a box with milk. Something that's very easy. Without proper nutrition, we see more health issues, disease processes, and when people get sick, it takes them longer to heal if they do not have nutritious daily meals. Meals are very good for me. Uh, it's one of the things I look forward to five days a week because I'm going to have a hot meal, but two, I'm going to have a friendly face delivered. Well, a lot of times I believe that we're the only people they see in the day. Um, it's nice for them to know, hey, there's somebody coming. You know, there's somebody going to come and they're going to have a really great meal for me and we're going to see a smiling face and we may be the only people they see each day. And uh, a lot of them, if you have a chance at all to visit, the knowledge that they have and, and the things that they've done, the experiences that they've had, it's you just can't imagine. It would be absolutely wonderful for young people to volunteer for this program. I'd encourage anyone with extra uh, financial aid to step up, say, I'm willing to donate a certain amount to Meals on Wheels this week, next week, month, or the whole year. Just It's just that great a program. My theory is if you have you know 45 minutes to an hour that you can spare during your lunch period dur during your lunch break you know give meals on wheels a call you know the routes are not that long you know like I said mine normally takes a little less than an hour and I think I probably have one of the longest routes the one that I had before this shoot it didn't take you know 25 30 minutes well, if you, if you had the money to help give the Meals on the Wheels, give what you can, because everybody needs help at one time or another, and there may be come a time when you need the help too. If Meals on Wheels didn't exist, would be a lot of the patients would have probably malnutrition, and they wouldn't have the adequate nutrition that they need to survive. Some people are, are so proud they don't want to ask for help. And really, uh, they shouldn't feel that way with Meals on Wheels because this is a program for er for anybody that needs the, the assistance. And it's not, uh, they're not really asking for help. It's just something that's here for them if they need it. Take a look at your grandmother. Take a look at your elderly parents. See what kind of condition they're in. If you were unable to take care of them, would you want somebody to be helping them? Would you want somebody to be looking after them? We need volunteers all the time. And through the generosity of our volunteers, we're able to continue with our program. Hopefully with the video that we're making today, we can expand this program so that we can better serve the elderly of our county. I live by myself, and Meals on Wheels means it all to me because I can stay at home and be happier here, be more comfortable, and and I can make it with as long as I have meals on wheels.